Hello, my tech talk will be about NFTs because it, it is quite a hot topic these days and many people are making millions selling NFTs. A little bit about myself. My name is Walters Klaus and I come from a small country called Latvia. I am a student right now here at Code Chrysalis and I have been interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency for a while now. First, I will briefly introduce you to what is NFT. Then I will talk about blockchain generally and Ethereum blockchain and its smart contracts. Then I will move on to explain NFTs a little deeper. And in the end, I will show you how to make an NFT yourself. Lastly, I will give you a couple of future applications for NFTs. So NFTs, what does it stand for? Non-fungible means that it is unique and can't be replaced with another NFT. Fungible item means that it can be exchanged because their value defines them and not their unique properties. For example, Ethereum or dollars are fungible because one USD is tradable for another USD. They have the same value. But in order to understand what is an NFT and the technology behind it, I have to introduce you to blockchain, Ethereum and the smart contracts. Let's start with the blockchain. So what is a blockchain? Blockchain is a system of recording data in a way that makes it very difficult and in some cases quite impossible to change or hack the system. Blockchain is distributed across a network of computer systems. Each block in the blockchain contains a certain amount of transactions. And every time a new transaction happens on the blockchain, a record of that transaction is saved in the participant's computer system. And because of that, if one block in one chain was changed, you will immediately notice that it has been changed. Let's imagine if someone wants to hack the blockchain system, they would have to change every block in the chain across all of the distributed versions of the chain. Blockchains, just like Bitcoin and Ethereum, are constantly growing as long as blocks are being added to the blockchain which adds to the security of the blockchain. So the whole history of all the transactions are recorded in thousands of computer systems around the world, meaning blockchain is decentralized and secure. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they are decentralized, which means there is no bank or any other institution in the middle holding your cryptocurrency Basically, there's no middleman between the transactions. A private key is like a password, a string of letters and numbers that allows you to access and manage your cryptocurrency. And actually, your public key is generated by your private key, which makes them a pair. When you send cryptocurrency to another wallet using your public key, you verify that it's really you by using your private key. Blockchain is anonymous, even if you can see every single transaction on the blockchain, because you don't need to provide any personal information like a name or an address. So the cryptocurrency owners are given a public key, which is the address, and a private key, which is the password to send and receive cryptocurrency. The public address is where the cryptocurrency are deposited and received, but they won't be able to make withdrawals or send a cryptocurrency to another wallet without a private key. And that was a brief introduction to blockchain technology generally. But during our demo, we will be making our NFT on Ethereum blockchain. And Ethereum blockchain was created to enable developers to build and publish smart contracts and distributed applications that can be used without the risks of downtime, fraud, or interference from a third party. Um, Ethereum claims to be the uh, world's most programmable blockchain. So how it differs from Bitcoin? It is different from Bitcoin because it, it is a programmable network that serves as a marketplace for financial services, games, and apps all of which can be paid in Ethereum cryptocurrency. 
A smart contract is a digital contract where the terms of agreement between all the parties is set in code. A smart contract can also be a programmed to self-execute when a set of pre-written conditions are met. Basically, if A is true, then execute B. NFTs are only possible because of the smart contracts technology. It assigns ownership and manage the transferability of the NFTs. When someone creates NFT, they run the code stored in smart contract. After that information is added to the blockchain. Now for a real life example of a smart contract. There is an insurance company called AXA, which offers a flight insurance that pays out the insured person if a flight is delayed by two hours or more. They had a trial where they will pay out insurance claims using smart contracts. And the smart contract for the insurance is quite simple. If flight is over two hours late, then pay the insured person. The smart contract is connected to a database that monitors flight times. If the database shows that the flight is over two hours late, the smart contract is triggered and the insured person will be paid automatically over the black blockchain. Now, when we understand blockchain and smart contracts, let's dig deeper into NFTs. Now I will talk a little bit about NFT properties and they are. Each token created has a unique ID that is directly linked to one Ethereum address. They're not directly interchangeable with other tokens one-to-one. -to -one. It is non-fungible. Each token has an owner and you can easily verify that information. And they live on Ethereum and can be bought and sold on any Ethereum-based NFT market. Proving your own an NFT is very similar to proving you have Ethereum in your account. For example, let's say you purchase an NFT and the ownership of the unique token is transferred to your wallet. That token proves that your copy of the digital file is the original. Your private key is proof of ownership of the original and the NFT's creator's public key serves as a certificate of authenticity for that particular NFT. Another way to think about proving your own, uh, you own the NFT is by signing messages to prove you own the private key behind the address. Also, no one can manipulate it in any way and you can sell it or you can hold it forever. And if you create an NFT, you can easily prove you're the creator, you determine the scarcity, and you can sell it in on any NFT market or peer-to-peer. -peer. You're not locked into any platform and you don't need anyone to intermediate. NFTs are giving artists a unique opportunity to sell their work. For example, artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Now, the artist can sell it directly to the buyer as an NFT, which let them keep more of the profits from the sale. Artists can also program in royalties so they will receive a percentage of sales anytime their NFT is sold to another person. Um, yeah, for example, famous digital artist Beeple made one drawing which was made of 5,000 daily drawings to create the most famous and the most expensive NFT at the moment. Every day is the first 5,000 days, which was sold for $69.3 million. Um, I bet everyone remembers the famous Nyan Cat from song from some of, some of years ago. It's a GIF, was sold for $600,000. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sold his first tweet as an NFT for more than $2.9 billion. Even Taco Bell have sold themed NFTs art to raise money for charity. Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes with the highest bid being around $3.7,000. NBA are selling highlights from their games as an NFT 
and earned more than 500 million in sales until now. For example, single LeBron James highlight NFT was sold for more than $200,000. And right now, at the time of this presentation, it is around $1 million. NFTs have seen a lot of interest from game developers because NFTs can provide proof of ownership for the items in the game. In a lot of games, you can buy items like armor or a sword for you to use in the game. But if that item was an NFT, you could get your money back by selling it when you quit the game. You could even earn some extra money if that item becomes more rare. Game developers, on the other hand, could earn a royalty every time an item is resold. This kind of system could create a mutually beneficial business model where both players and developers earn from the NFT market. And if a game no longer operates, the items you got in the game will, will be still yours on the blockchain as an NFT token. This means in-game in -game items become digital memorabilia and can have a value outside of the game. Okay, let's move on to the demo. Um, yeah, so first you need to know that to make an NFT, you have to spend a small amount of Ethereum to deploy the smart contract. In this case, we will be using test Ethereum on the Ethereum testnet called Dropsten. As the name implies, it's a testing network that runs the same protocol as Ethereum does and is used for testing purposes before deploying on the main network. For this, we will need a MetaMask wallet. It is a Google Chrome extension. There are already many tutorials on how to install it, so I will not be showing that today. Okay, let's click on our MetaMask wallet. And what you need to know is that you need to be on the Robsten test network. So if you click here, we will be able to see all the networks. And we just click Robsten test network. As you can see, I have 4.7 Ethereum in my wallet. And with a freshly made wallet, you will not have any. So to get some, you have to go to the faucet.robsten.be. Then what you have to do is you have to copy your public key and then paste it here. Then press the button, send me test ether. In like 30 seconds, you will see 0 0.3 Ethereum in your wallet. Uh, we will be making our NFT on rarible.com, NFT marketplace. So let's explore it a bit. Here we can see the top collections in one day. And yeah, like right now, many people are making these collections of NFTs. These collections are very similar to the first ever NFTs, which was a collection of 10,000 CryptoPunks made in 2017. The collection of CryptoPunks have 6,039 male punks and 3,840 female punks. And all of them have unique characteristics. For example, 303 punks have mutton chops, 286 punks with 3D glasses, 94 punks with the pigtails, and so on. And the price of these NFTs depends on the rarity of the characteristics they have. And already almost all of these, uh, those crypto punks cost at least $1 million each. And the most expensive one was recently sold for $11 million. Here you can see one of the examples of collection. As you can see, there are many different uh, like monkeys and each of them have unique characteristics. Then you can see people selling uh, their individual NFTs then top sellers, and of course, live auctions. But yeah, let's get to the to making your own NFT. 
So what we have to do is we have to go to robstand.rarible.com because we are using the test network. Um, and then the first step is to sign in with your wallet. So we have to choose sign in with MetaMask. Okay, we are in. Then we have to press create. Then you have two options. You either have to make single or multiple. Uh, this time we will be making a single NFT. So let's click on that. And then you have to upload a file. You can upload many different files like image, video, GIF, or audio. So let's choose a file. Okay. Then you can choose in which way you want to sell your NFT, either as a, as a fixed price, timed auction, or open for bids. So let's choose fixed price for this time. Okay, I will choose, I want to sell it for two Ethereum. And then you have to choose a collection. Between these two, there are not many uh, differences. So I usually just choose Rarible. And then we have a free minting option. You can either turn it on or off. And this means that only when you sell your NFT on the marketplace, the smart contract will be deployed in order to put your NFT on the blockchain. So if you turn this option off, the smart contract will be deployed immediately and you will be able to see your NFT in your wallet. So in this case, I want to turn it off then we make a title, it's just a rock, and description, which is optional. Then we have royalties. As I said earlier, you can put royalties and every time my NFT will be re resold to another person, I will get the percentage of the sale. So in this case, I, will be, I would be getting 10%. I will not be that greedy, so I will just get to 5%. Okay, I think now we are ready to make the NFT and you just have to press create item. Now we have to wait a little bit until the image is uploaded. It's taking a little while and then we have to confirm. So this is the smart contract. It's minting and now we have to approve the second time. And voila, we have our own NFT. Okay, so this is the end of the demo. Let's get back to the slides. Um, yeah, so as, a, as NFT are basically a deed, meaning a legal document, one day you could buy a house or a car using Ethereum and receive the deed as an NFT. As things are slowly becoming more and more high-tech, in the future, your Ethereum wallet could be the key to your car or home. Or another example could be even tickets could be sold as NFTs. The buyer can resell it, resell them if they choose to, and the event organizers will know that the tickets are not fake and there could be many more uses for NFTs. But one thing is for sure, NFTs will not go anywhere. So thank you for your attention.